host of Nizzy Sports Channel. Hi, Nizzy, and in this video, you guys, we're going to be predicting which NFL teams are going to be making the playoffs this season. Obviously, we only have two games left in the 2021 NFL season, you guys. It's been an up and down, crazy year. A lot of <clears throat> a lot of uh, surprises throughout the league so far, a lot of injuries, a lot of protocol issues going on right now in the NFL. Um, just taking things week by week here. Every team's dealing with a lot of injuries and, like I said, protocol issues. Everyone's just trying to grit it and grind it out here and get into that playoff slot. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start breaking down which teams I think are going to be making it at the end of the season here. Obviously, there's some teams that are already locked into a playoff position. Um, still a few few teams fighting for those wildcard spots, so those are going to be the big... Uh, Topics of discussion here to see which teams are going to be able to sneak in or which teams might get booted out of those wild card spots uh, heading into the final two weeks, you guys. Right, real quick before we still start breaking this down, if you can go ahead and like this video if you like sporting content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future. I've been getting a lot of support lately, you guys, and I greatly appreciate it. We're going to keep coming out with as much content as possible for you guys. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and start breaking this down. We'll start off in the NFC, you guys. Obviously, the Green Bay Packers are the first seed right now in the NFC. I'm a, I'm a Green Bay Packer fan myself, so I'm happy to see that for sure. Looks like the playoffs are going to be rolling through Lambeau again this year, um, barring that Green Bay at least gets one more victory on their season here. They're at a 12-3 and record right now with games coming up against the Vikings and the Lions. Um, I expect them to probably be able to win both of those games, finishing up with a 14-3 and record, um, taking that first seed in the NFC, getting that bye week uh, in the first week of the playoffs there. I could see us possibly finishing at 13-4 and four if we end up clinching the first seed next week or this weekend versus the Vikings. Um, I could see them possibly putting Jordan Love in there as the starting quarterback against the Lions in Week 18, um, letting Aaron Rodgers rest that broken toe um, if we do clinch that first seed, obviously, this weekend coming up here. Um, and then we got the Cowboys, you guys, at 11-4 and four right now. Um, they got the Cardinals and the Eagles coming up in their final two games, so not too easy of a matchup for them. Um, I expect them to probably go 1-1 one one over the next two games here. So I got the Cowboys finishing with a 12-5 and five record. Uh, second, or That will be third in the NFC because I think the Bucks are going to be able to win out, um, winning their final two games. They got the Jets and the Panthers here uh, coming up. Those should be easy victories no matter who's playing, no matter how many guys they got out for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As long as Tom Brady's playing, they should be winning those games. Um, so I have them finishing at 13-4, and four, which would put the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in its two seed. Um, and then you got the Los Angeles Rams who finish up against the Ravens and the 49ers. Those are going to be two tough, tough matchups for this Rams squad. Um, obviously, the Ravens are fighting for the playoff lives right now with Lamar Jackson. has been injured the last couple of weeks. Um, same thing when they play the 49ers in that final week. That's going to be a heck of a game because um, the 49ers are battling for their playoff lives as well right now. Obviously, they're in the in the playoff spot, but they don't want to lose any games here. Otherwise, they could get knocked out of the wild card race. Um, so it should be a good one. I expect the Rams to finish off 12 and five as well. So that would leave your top four seeds having the Green Bay Packers at 14 and three, um, the, the Cowboys at 12 and five, the Rams at 12 and five and the Bucks at 13 and four. Um, so that would move the Bucks into that two seed. Like I said, drop the Cowboys down to the three seed Rams would be the four seed. And then over to the wildcard teams right now, you got the Cardinals sitting at 10 and five. Uh, they got games coming up against the Cowboys and the Seahawks. I would expect them to probably lose one of those two games for sure. I got the Cardinals finishing off their season at 11-6. and six. Um, And then the 49ers, they got an easy one coming up this weekend against the Texans. I would expect them to win that game for sure. Um, and then they got a tough one against the Rams, man. I think the Rams are going to be able to take that one because I think the Rams are going to lose to the Ravens this weekend, in my opinion. Um, so I think they're going to be able to take that one against the 49ers in a huge divisional matchup in Week 18. Um, which still leaves the 49ers in a decent spot. They'll finish up the season at 9-8, and eight, one game above 500. Cardinals will be at 11-6, and six, locking in their uh, first seed in the wild card slot there. And then we got the uh, Philadelphia Eagles who are in there right now at 8-7, and seven, you guys. They got the Washington football team and the Dallas Cowboys, two divisional games coming up to finish off their season. Although I do think it's going to be a tough one for them to beat the Cowboys. The way the Washington football team has been looking lately, I expect the Eagles to go out and handle business in that game for sure. Um, so at least they're guaranteed 9-8. and eight. I would say they'll probably finish up at 9-8 and eight on the season. Then you got some teams on the outside looking in that still have a chance at making the playoffs in the NFC. Um, but they need some things to bounce their way for sure. That is the Vikings, the Falcons, and the Saints all sitting at 7-8 and eight right now on the outside looking in, like I said. Um, they're going to need a lot of things to fall their way to make it in. Unfortunately, with the, the schedule 
and the injuries that they're dealing with, I don't see any of these teams being able to get in. So I think the wild card slots are going to stay the same um, with the Cardinals, the 49ers, and the Eagles making the playoffs in those wild card positions. Obviously, the Vikings got the Packers coming up this weekend. I think that's going to be a loss for them. Um, and then I think they'll be able to handle the Bears in Week 18, but it's going to be too little too late. Um, same thing with the Falcons. you got the Bills and the Saints coming up. Real tough game against the Bills. I don't expect the Falcons to win that one whatsoever. Um, and then the Saints, I could see them beating the Saints just because of how depleted that team is right now with injury. Um, so that finishes them up at 8-9. and nine. And then the Saints, I could see them beating the Panthers this weekend because the Panthers are an absolute disaster of a, a team this season. Um, but against the Falcons, I don't think they'll be able to be able to muster up enough against that team. So I got them finishing eight and eight and nine as well. So that wraps up the NFC, you guys. If you take a look at the first week of the playoffs, then you got Green Bay on a bye. That would have the two seeded Bucks versus uh, the seven seed Eagles. That'd be a good little matchup there. Another kind of easy game for the Bucks, but it could be a similar one to the Washington game last year, um, where they almost came out with a victory against Tom Brady and Tampa Bay. Obviously, the Bucks are dealing with some injuries as well. Um, to their team right now, so that could that could cause, be a little bit of a cause for concern versus the Eagles team in that first round. Um, and then the second matchup, we'd have the Cowboys and the 49ers. This would be a great matchup between two good teams here, um, two teams that got good, solid defensive uh, defenses. Obviously, uh, Dak Prescott's been having a great season for the Cowboys. Jimmy G's got that hurt finger now, so we're not even sure if he's going to be able to play over the last two weeks here. We'll have to see what happens, um, but I would say the Cowboys should be able to take that game and move on to a divisional round. And then the last matchup, you'd have the Rams versus the Cardinals, a divisional matchup for the first week of the playoffs. You guys, I think that'd be a real good game too. Could go either way. Obviously, the Cardinals have been struggling, but there is the potential that they could just end up going off one game um, and taking it to the Rams or vice versa. You never know. So that would be the the first uh, round of the playoff matchups, you guys. Bucks, Eagles, Cowboys, Niners, Rams, and Cards with Green Bay on the bye. That's my prediction for the NFC. Then we'll head over to the AFC where there's a little more excitement going on right now between the teams battling for those last spots in the wildcard race. Um, you know, there's a lot more teams involved in it over in the AFC here. So we'll get right into it, you guys. Obviously, the Chiefs are leading uh, the conference right now at an 11-4 and record. Um, they got two games coming up against the Bengals and the Broncos to finish off their season. As much as I like the Bengals right now, I think the Bengals will have an opportunity to upset the Chiefs coming up this weekend. Although I do think it's going to be a tough task uh, for that team so I'm going to go ahead and take uh, the Chiefs for the next two and I think the Chiefs will end up uh, clinching the conference and finishing off with a 13 and 4 record um, and then you got the Titans who are sitting at 10 and 5 on their season right now they got games coming up against the Dolphins and the Texans for their final two weeks of the season couldn't ask for an easier schedule to finish off the season obviously the Dolphins have turned it around a little bit here um, but I think what the Dolphins have won seven in a row now with their win against the Saints last night I think that streak comes to an end here this weekend against uh, the Titans, I think the Titans are going to be able to win out their season as well, especially with the Colts raid right on their heels. The Titans can't afford to lose any games here, so I think they're going to finish off 12-5, and five, uh, winning their last two games of the season. And we've got the Bengals sitting at 9-6, and six, you guys, leading their division right now. Uh, they got the Chiefs and the Browns, two pretty tough games to finish off their season. Um, I, like I said, I can't see them beating the Chiefs. I think they're going to end up losing to the Chiefs here, but I do think they'll be able to be beat that Browns team in the final week of the season to win the division, um, finishing off the... Uh, season with a 10 and 7 record for the Bengals you guys and then we got the Buffalo Bills at 9 and 6 right now um, two real easy games for Buffalo too they got the Falcons and the Jets coming up I mean you might as well book the, both of those as wins um, especially with you know it's the end of the season here this is where you separate the winners from the losers and the playoff teams from the playoff ain'ts um, so I think the Bills are going to be finishing with an 11 and 6 record getting two pretty easy wins over the Falcons and Jets to finish it off here obviously that would help them out as well that would bump them above um, the Bengals there into that third third spot there between the division leaders. Um, and then we got the wild card teams, you guys. The Colts are sitting at a 9-6 and six record, have completely turned their season around. Obviously, they had a tough 0-3 start to the year. Um, turned it around immensely so far this year. The run game is just nasty. That O-line has been real good for them. Um, they got two games, pretty easy games too. They got the Raiders and the Jaguars. Obviously, the Raiders is a little bit tougher of a matchup there. Raiders are fighting for their playoff lives still. Um yeah, but I just don't see the Raiders being able to take it against the uh, Colts. I just think the Colts is the better team there. And obviously the Jaguars are in shambles right now. So I see the Colts being able to win out the rest of the season here, finishing with an 11-6 and record. Then you got the Patriots at 9-6 and in that second wildcard spot right now. Same thing for them. They got two, you know, easier games coming up to finish off their season as well. You got 
He got them playing the Jaguars this weekend and then the Dolphins in Week 18. Um, I think two is going to struggle against that uh, defense of Bill Belichick in Week 18. Obviously, it should be a lock for a victory over the Jags. So I got the Patriots finishing with an 11 and 6 record as well. Then we got the Dolphins, you guys that are sitting there. They just crawled into the playoff spot after that big win last night against the Saints, sitting at eight and seven now on their season. Unfortunately for the Dolphins, I think their streak of luck is coming to an end here, uh, playing two tough, tough teams to end their season with the Titans and the Patriots. Unfortunately, I think they're going to end it around a losing streak here, and it's going to be an eight and nine finish to the season for the Dolphins, missing out on the playoffs. Unfortunately, even though they're in it right now, I don't think they're going to be making it when it's all said and done here, you guys. Then we got the Ravens. Uh, on the outside, looking in there at eight and seven, um, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got six teams, you guys, that still got an opportunity that are on the outside looking in to get into the, one of those wild card spots, um, which is just crazy. Uh, I think the Browns actually have an opportunity to win their division as well if they can win out, and then obviously they need some teams to lose, um, which I don't think is going to happen, but it is possible. Um, but we'll go to the Ravens here, eight and seven, you guys. They got the Rams and the Steelers to finish off their season. Going to be a real tough one against the Rams here, especially if they don't have Lamar Jackson this weekend. Um, but I think they'll be able to handle business against the Steelers in Week 18. I got them finishing at 9-8. and eight. Unfortunately, that's going to be not enough to make it into the playoffs um, this year, so they're going to be missing the playoffs, in my opinion. And then we got the Chargers, you guys. This is the team that I think is going to replace the Dolphins for that final wildcard spot. Um, they got probably the easiest schedule out of all these teams that are on the outside looking in for the next two weeks here, uh, with games coming up against the Broncos and the Raiders, two divisional matchups. Um, I think they'll be able to handle business against these guys. I think they got the better team comparatively to the Broncos and the Raiders, so they should be handling business, especially when it's fighting for your playoff lives. You win and you're in, right? You win these two games, you're pretty well in. Um, so I got the Chargers win, those two finishing 10-7 and seven and taking that final wild card spot, uh, which leaves the Raiders, the Steelers, the Browns, and the Broncos who are still kind of fighting away. Um, I don't see them really having an opportunity here to be able to make something happen in the final two weeks. They obviously need things to fall their way as well with other teams losing. Um, Raiders are playing the Colts and the Chargers. That's going to be a tough matchup on both games. I think they're going to end up finishing 8-9 and nine on their season, so they're going to lose the next two here. The Steelers play the Browns and the Ravens. Same thing. I think they're losing both, finishing off 7-9-1 and one on their season. Um, the Browns, I think, can win one game. I think they'll beat the Steelers coming up here, but I don't think they're going to be able to handle that Bengals team in week 18. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, finish them off at eight and nine. I mean, and then we got the Broncos, you guys, seven and eight record. They got Chargers and Chiefs, two divisional games as well. I expect them to lose both of those as well. Um, obviously their season's kind of fallen apart as well since that three and zero start at the beginning of the year. Um, so they'll be finishing off seven and 10. So like I said, that moves the Chargers up with a 10 and seven record into that final wild card spot. Um, then you got the Patriots and the Colts at 11 and six to finish off the season. Um, the Bills jump the Bengals and move into that third seed, pushing the Bengals down in the fourth seed there. Um, Chiefs get the bye week. So you're looking at your first round playoff matchups, you guys. The Chiefs are on a bye. Titans versus Chargers would be one of the matchups. The two seed versus the seven seed. I think that'd be a great game, to be honest with you. That'd be an awesome matchup to watch. Um, and then you would have the Bills and the Patriots. I think this would be a phenomenal game to watch as well, you guys. Obviously, they're division opponents. They've played each other twice. Each team has won one game so far. I mean, it'd be incredible to get a matchup between these two squads in the first round of the playoffs. Would love to see it happen. Um, so hopefully that's the case. And then obviously the final game would be the Bengals and the Colts, which I think would be a phenomenal game as well, too. Two really good teams. Obviously, the, the Bengals have surprised a lot of people this year. Uh, but Joe Burrow's looking like the real deal, man. Uh, Jamar Chase looks like a great draft pick at this point in time. Um, their defenses look much improved this year as well, the Bengals. Um, you know, and the Colts are just a solid team all around. Um, so I think that'd be a great game as well. So that pretty well wraps her up, you guys, for this video. Just wanted to go through my predictions on who I think is going to be making the playoffs this year. Obviously coming to the end of the season here with uh, two weeks left in the NFL season. Would love your guys' opinion in the comment section down below. Who do you guys have making the playoffs this year? Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to get your guys' opinion. Uh, once again, you guys, I appreciate taking the time to watch this video and every video on my channel. Please go ahead and like this video if you like sporting content like this. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. And this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat. Bye.